Good morning everybody and today I'll be focusing on my usual topics which uh, which are mainly about the extinct wildlife fauna and usually uh, the cave lion is one of my passions and in regards to the cave lion with the recent studies that have been done I am very fascinated by these studies in the last recent years and what we see is a very eye-opening uh, mind-blowing facts that that are so fascinating and yet so convincing of the fact that the cave lion is not much different than modern day lion and uh, on this point I want to make and dedicate this video for all my uh, life uh, wildlife enthusiasts out there that I've been seeing going through my channel recently and hopefully we will pick up together from this one on and do cover a lot of you know topics about the wildlife animals and we will try to go through so many other you know animals so let's get into into the topic first so this this point uh why what, what is the importance of this point that you know that this question was the cave lion any different from its modern day relative quote unquote and if so why now answering this topic will get us into a lot of details so i'll try to basically summarize what i can and first of all let me tell you why this is important is basically there are some people today who think that the cave lion especially the north american lion which is one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest animals and the, the carnivores one of the biggest if not the biggest cat ever uh, to, to roam the face of the earth. So some people believe it is a jaguar or some sort of a big cat that is not a lion and uh, uh, I'm sorry to tell you that the recent studies that have been made, I've been going through these studies and two of these studies and I have still a lot of others to read and to go through and to check and I am fascinating and you know, I, I, I've been so, I, I couldn't believe actually the data that have been brought so forth and Honestly, the phylogenetic and the genetic and the there are a lot of stu like studies that have been done, but the recent studies made on the DNA and made on some of these very deep topics are very mind-opening. Like, just take a look, for example, at this uh, study which has been done recently, and you will see what I'm talking about here because the population of both the cave lion and the modern lion split around 500,000 years ago. And that, that point alone, that, that, that fact alone tells us a lot about this animal. And you might ask, okay, you say this, but how? Where is your proof? Well, first of all, or second of all, I am not here to debate. I'm just here like you, like anybody else. I'm looking for the truth. I'm trying to look for, you know, facts about these animals because I have the passion and the love of these animals. And I would love to see them, you know, in... Uh, more appropriate and more proper you know depictions so first of all let's see this point alone tells us a lot like you see for example let's just compare the cave lion and the modern day lion to the tiger and the lion and why am i am i doing this is because basically if we look at the tiger and the lion they are both a big cat but they have such a vast you know range of different differences and similarities and if you look at the common ancestor between these two animals it must be like millions millions like long long ago I, i'm not sure if it's even billions of years ago so if you tell me that these two animals one is the lion modern lion which you know lives in open grasslands and in areas that have a very you know like light forests like forests that are not too thick like the african bush and the uh, you know the indian gujarat subcontinent of uh, india where there is you know these you know uh, very uh, open type of forests and the, the the tiger which lives in very different southeast asian type of forests jungles not forests like the Sumatran tiger for example in the Indonesian jungles and also the Chinese South Chinese tiger which lives in the uh, Chinese forests and uh, unfortunately due to the demand of the demands high demands of the Chinese medicine this animal is you know uh, 
unfortunately almost went extinct and now there is a South African very uh, amazing project that is focused on bringing it back literally from the brink of extinction so now the point here is this if you look at this tiger which lives in a broad range of different you know uh, temperate type of different spheres and bio biospheres and environments like in the north you have the Siberian tiger who lives which lives in the uh, northern hemisphere and it's open like uh, sorry in it's snowy icy cold you know uh, taiga russian forests and so on and the uh, uh, korean peninsula and its forests and so on which it used to colonize and so on. so that's not our topic but right now just comparing these uh, similarities and differences you know these animals they have differences look at their for example their fur their coats their different coloration patterns their different you know behaviors how the lion is social how the tiger is solitary and all of that uh, that makes sense that makes complete sense Com considering that they have they did split long time ago so they become a totally different animals from a historical and even evolutionary and even scientific point of view that makes sense right so you tell me that the cave lion and the modern lion have uh, like they only just they just did split 500,000 years ago and you tell me that uh, that they are very different that doesn't make a lot of sense or does it I mean look the same uh, you know not the same but a very similar environment that the modern lion lives in was the most common you know dominating biosphere of the Eurasia like Europe North America even North America and even in parts of Asia and that is the open grasslands and many scientists uh, scientists attribute the, the extinction of the cave lion to the disappearance of these forests and they say that this is also is the reason why a lot of these megafauna these big animals went extinct and that also makes sense by the way so you tell me that the cave lion and the lion, the modern lion, share the same or a very similar, similar like environment. You tell me they have only split, like they did only split just 500,000 years ago and not billions or millions of years ago like the lion and the tiger, for example. And you show me two sets of cubs that are found in the permafrost of a Russian, you know, uh, permafrost and the Russian icy cold and you see clearly that these two cubs are you know still have this tony coloration like a modern day lion would have and they also I, I think they have a, you know small spots like those that are existing in the young you know lion cubs before they mature and so on also the lion have diff like tony coloration mixed with spots if you don't know that so but they are not very uh, prominent you know so so to speak so that point alone also tells us a lot about these things and these animals and why we would say that they are also lions also although in the same po at, in the same you know at the same point i would say that the the different you know the differences are not to be you know overlooked because right now i am also considering the differences because two animals that have split that did split 500,000 years ago would have some differences of course they would have i'm not saying that the cave lion and the modern lion and the, are the same exact animal no they are not because at the same time and this is why i differ with a lot of people and what is funny is that you have a lot of like wildlife enthusiasts and even scientists who want to prove that the the cave lion is a lion and it's just like modern day lion and you have others who want to prove that it's a jaguar or some sort of a big cat that is only related to the lion but not not a lion not 100 percent i do not ask, like subscribe to either you know uh, you know members or teams of this camp or that camp because what i'm looking for is plain facts i'm not trying to <laughs> to put my ego on the topic and then uh, look at it from that point of view i'm i, I I am just like you i have my flaws i have my mistakes i'm not perfect but i'm just trying my best to look at it from a point of view where i would be you know more clearly seeing it from a fact like factual like a real you know point of view rather than 
trying to make this animal that or this. And this is where the point of this video really comes into point, like into, into, into a clear point, into a clear vision. Now, an animal that did split 500,000 years ago would have some differences from its relative, definitely, because the two animals did live in, in a very broad, different ranges of, you know, habitat. One is in the southern part of the Earth, modern lion, mostly in the southern part, and the other is mostly in the northern part, and in the mid-intersection, like in the mid, in the mid uh, regions of the Earth, there were also uh, both of these species, I think, in some areas. I'm not sure if they co coexisted, I'm not sure about that. So, there has to be differences between the lion and the cave lion. And why is this? It's because basically if you look at their habitat and the animals that they used to prey upon and eat and predate, you would see that they are different. And just that, like the same case with the lion and the tiger, I would suggest that there are differences between these two animals. And that is just to be more realistic. But now, we cannot overlook the recent findings of these two cubs and these also these are uh, these dna uh, analysis and these dna studies which i will dedicate other videos for just to show you how very uh, amazing these studies are especially in the recent years because the last time i did videos on these animals was like 2017 or 18 something like that which 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 is kind of a bit back in time compared to what the recent studies have found recently so that's just one point. You guys stay tuned. I'm, a, I'm gonna make another video. And with that being said, let me see you in another video. And with this beautiful February cold morning, foggy morning, let me tell you, have a great day. Peace and out and see you in the next video.